No, 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 stay seated, stay seated, hi. Um, my name is Rick, I've been a, a stand-up comic for the last 11 years or so. That's one of the reasons why they asked me to come here today. Another reason they asked me to come here is that for the last 15 years I've been an officer in the Department of Corrections, 13 of which at this facility. So when they asked me to do this, I accepted right away, and then I asked them what the theme and the topic was for, the, for this event, and they told me healthy living. So I was like, well, I had a good run. Um, <laughs> thanks, thanks anyways. But then they told me healthy living was acceptable, and I was like, well, I've been uh, mentally healthy. That also counts for that. So I was like, you know what, I've been faking that for years. I can do that for at least four more minutes. So here, you might notice I'm not in uniform today. Um, I didn't wear a uniform today for a lot of reasons. One, I'm on vacation until the 23rd, so I'm not gonna wear that thing whatsoever. Two, I don't have any clean laundry, and I won't probably until the 22nd. So that's another reason. And the main reason is that I don't wanna be seen like that today. I wanna, I wanna try and illustrate that we don't have to be the people that everyone sees us as when we're behind these walls. Everyone who's in here right now, everyone who walks around today, we all have preconceived notions laid upon us from the minute we walk in here. Like, the way officers look at inmates, the way inmates look at officers, the way we all look at each other, the way we look at our own kind. And that's like, and being an officer, you know, a correction officer in this day and age, the media paints us a certain way all the time. You know, we're either, they paint us as either like sadistic, apathetic, you know, like mean, like porn stash in Orange is the New Black, like that kind of a person. <laughs> or the other side of that coin is that they try and paint us as like, you know, lazy, overweight, out of shape, never mind, let's keep moving on. Let's go, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go past that a little bit. But we all have our own things going on, you know, like people, there's, everyone's got their own thing going for them. Like I'm a, you know, I'm a father. I'm a comic, I'm a writer, I'm a husband, I'm a drinking buddy, I'm, you know, I'm in the Bills Mafia for life. I, you know, I have, that's right, that's right. I'm gonna jump through a table when I'm done with this, just to, <laughs> just to make it, but we're all, you know what I mean? I can be sarcastic, I can be a jerk, you know what I mean? That's just the way it is. And we all have our own things going on, you know? We all have our own things about us that we have to, try and put out there, and it's, it's hard, you know what I mean? It's hard to not be seen in that light. You know, it's hard to not be seen as, you know, a guard, a CO, a criminal, an inmate, a murderer, a drug dealer, you know what I mean? Like, getting past that is what we have to do in order to just to survive, you know what I mean? And it seems impossible, but it's not. Like, you know what I mean? That word impossible, that's the problem, is that we waste, we waste a lot of our lives thinking about what's possible and what's not and thinking that things are impossible. And the word impossible, that's what the walls that are built around us that we build ourselves, it's not impossible. Like 15 years and 100 pounds ago, like I would have thought, like I thought it was impossible to do 25 years in this department. Like the end was out of sight, it was impossible. You know, now it's, you know, it's impossible to lose weight. If you're divorced, you think to yourself, it's impossible to meet somebody else. It's gonna be impossible to fall in love again. You know, it's gonna be impossible to not be seen as that criminal, you know what I mean? To not be seen as weak, to not be seen as, you know what I mean? You try your best to not be seen as just a wife, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of things to, to overcome. And that's, and that's the problem. And those things that we do, those are the walls that we build inside our head. And your will to try and become a better person, like that's what you can use to try and break down these walls and stand on top of the rubble, you know what I mean? And be better. Because these walls, these walls are around us all the time, not just the ones outside of this building but the ones in our heads, you know what I mean? And we're in the, you're in the shadows of those walls no matter where you are. You could be in here, you could be on the ride home and those walls are around you, you know what I mean? And unless you try and overcome what these walls are, there's no way to you know, like feel the breeze on the other side to see how green the grass is, you know? And that's the thing that we have to try and, we have to try and be better in our own heads. And that's the only way through it. That's the only way, like your will to be a better person, that's, the bulldozer, you know what I mean, that you need to knock down these walls. Now I want you all to keep in mind this is a metaphorical bulldozer. I don't want to be held responsible for some sort of an elaborate bulldozer escape plan <laughs> that happens here. That's not what I want to have here. Um, now for you guys in here that live here, you guys that are locked up, you guys, I mean, let's be honest, like I might, you know, I, I should just say it out loud. The deck is stacked against you guys from the minute, you know, we put a sweater on you in jeans and send you on the bus. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard out there. You know what I mean? But it's not impossible. It's just hard 
to try and get a job in a place that doesn't trust you. You know what I mean? To try and like get a footing in a world that doesn't want you. You know what I mean? To try and make a competitive wage at a job that like you, they know that you need them more than they need you. You know what I mean? But, and is that impossible? No, it's just, you've got to have that, that will to get past it. And that's what this is. You know what I mean? That's what all of this is. That's, you need to be ready. That's what you're training for now every day when you wake up. You know what I mean? Because you don't have to be the person you were when you got locked up. You don't have to be the person you were yesterday. You can wake up tomorrow and realize that that guy yesterday was a jerk. You know what I mean? And then you can change. And that will to change, that's how you can overcome this. That will to be a better person. That will to just make a difference in yourself. Because that's where it has to start. You know what I mean? You can try and change the world as much as you want. But it's got to start locally. You know, it's got to start locally as in, in your own head, in your own mind, in your own sense of being. And that's, uh, that's the only way we're going to get through this. Like, nothing's impossible. You know what I mean? Unless you're trying to get a phone call out of me on an off night, then that's just not going to happen. I'm just not, I'm just not going to do it. And that's honestly all I have for you guys today. I'm going to keep it brief, and thank you very much, and have a good day.